Amiibo, our favorite little figures. Yes, today we are here for Amiibo Tour 2023. What are the updates? What are the new Amiibos? What Amiibos got released this year? That is what we're gonna be jumping into today. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Amiibos I got this year. I've done this two years prior, once in 2021 and in 2022. In 2021, you can see my full collection and then the updated version in 2022. So consider this uh, the third part of the trilogy. Before we do so, we're gonna first take a look at some of the Amiibo that released this year. I don't know if that's just a thing due to me being me or just a different feeling, but it felt like there were so many more Amiibos that got released this year compared to prior years. At least when it comes to recent memory, as most previous years had like a few Amiibo release and then that would just be kind of it. Uh, compared to the original days when they first got released in 2014, 2015, when we got like waves upon waves of Amiibo. Now this feeling may actually be there because of the fact that it felt we had a lot of variety to share. And it is mainly due to the fact that we got these Amiibo. We started the year out with the Super Smash Bros. line with Kazuya Mishima and Sephiroth being released. Later on, we got ourselves with the release of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Link from Tears of the Kingdom, and later on, the Zelda and Ganondorf in November, as well as more from Smash Brothers with Pyra and Mithra. A bit more of a lesser known amiibo, we have the Power Up Band from Super Nintendo World, which actually functions as a Mario amiibo. And rounding off the year was the triple free pack from Splatoon 3 with Shiver and Fry, and of course, the man himself, the big man. The past few years felt like, oh wait, Metroid Dread is coming out, uh, let's get an amiibo for that. Uh, Skyward Sword is coming out, let's just get a figure for that. Uh, well, this year felt different in that way, with a lot of Amiibo actually coming out later after a game not really releasing with the game. The only one that really comes to mind for me is Link from Tears of the Kingdom. Outside of that, the Smash Brothers line, of course, Smash Brothers is already like five years old uh, at this point, and it's going to be wrapping up the Amiibo series in 2024 with Sora. So overall, there won't be a way to bring back the original Amiibo days. This year really felt like a better one, especially with them even being in Nintendo Rex near the end of the year, revealing Mio and Noah coming out, of course, in January of this year, which have already come out, and Sora came out as of the time of recording this last week. I would say that this is one of the better years for Amiibo. Definitely let me know what you guys think of it. Anyways, that's enough rambling. Let's take a look at some of the Amiibos that I bought myself this year. Some of the Amiibo we just talked about will, of course, be featured in this video, but I also wanted to clear out a bit of my backlog. Uh, the first Amiibo up is actually one I did end up buying uh, right before the end of 2022, but couldn't make the cut since I wasn't here for New Year's. But luckily, we've got him here now, and that is, ladies and gentlemen, Google Chrome. Uh, wait, 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 that, that's not the website. Chrome from Fire Emblem, the Smash Brothers version, actually. I actually really like this Amiibo. I saw that it got restocked on the My Nintendo store, which is how I got most of my uh, backlog this year. I really like the emblem on his, uh, what should we call it, on his cape and how it feels like it's in the wind. Really cool. A lot of the Fire Emblems do that very, very well. Uh, there's also a version, of course, from the Fire Emblem series. I'm not really too into, well, I, I am into Fire Emblem, but not into like, the entire like Amiibo series line. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy with Prom. A lot of these got restocked from Fire Emblem this year, so don't expect it to go down from this point on forward. Now the main reason I started up the Amiibo Tour series to begin with originally was not just to show off my collection, but also to tell you guys some of the amazing stories with it. And this next Amiibo might be one of my favorite when it comes to those stories, as up next we got ourselves Jigglypuff, a, an Amiibo actually I never ever found in the wild, but I ended up getting this one from my good amazing friend Clover. Uh, we went a little weekend away, a little trip, and uh, Clover knew I was uh, really looking forward to trying to close down my backlog a bit in 2023 for Amiibo, and uh, ended up gifting me this lovely, lovely Jigglypuff Amiibo. Really like how it looks, very clean, love the little ears over here. It's, yeah, it's a nice pink puff ball, and the one that really means a lot to me, which is weird for pink puff balls. I believe I had actually seen it before over at Clover's. I don't know how Clover specifically knew about it, but I'm very, very happy I got gifted that one as Jigglypuff is overall in Smash a really fun character and just an awesome look at Amiibo. Very nice, very clean, doesn't need a lot of details, but you know, it's Jigglypuff. Who doesn't like Jigglypuff? Up next are the first two Amiibo that got released this year that we previously talked about. And the first one is from Final Fantasy and may actually top being my favorite Amiibo in my entire collection. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, Sephiroth. As you can see, here he is, the man himself, the one that likes to do the stabby stabby. He's got the stabby stabby sword over there. He's got the huge wing. I'm very happy to put that wing in there. 
Uh, originally, with this pose, I thought they wouldn't do it because, I don't know, it seemed like not the biggest of details that needed to be in, but you know, he is the one winged angel, he needs that wing. And this amiibo, like, it doesn't feel like it's the heaviest to me. But there's a lot to him. You got the luscious, luscious hair as you can see over here. You got the huge sword. You gotta watch out for it. It's, not the, it, it's, it's more stable than most swords, but still it's an amiibo uh, sword. So don't uh, don't go expecting too much. And yeah, outside, uh, you know, it's it's Sephiroth. It's one of my favorite characters in Smash. It's probably my favorite character they revealed for the DLC. And very, very happy they finally made an amiibo for him. I don't know what happened to the order of the amiibo that got released for Fighters Pass 2 because we got Min Min first, then Steve and Alex over the summer of 2022, and then we got Sephiroth and the character I'm about to show you up next, which isn't actually in order. But we did end up getting our favorite Smash DLC character, Kazuya Mishima. Yeah, it felt, it felt weird seeing these at a convention out of nowhere without them being like formally announced. Uh, when they were first shown off and when first images of these guys got uh, leaked on the internet. But yeah, Kazuya Mishima, not as big as a, of a fan of him in Smash, but as a rainbow, he looks great. He's got the Terry issue where like his uh, feet are sticking out, uh, you know, under the uh, base, which is kind of weird. I think he looks cool. I would have loved the suit maybe more, maybe player two version would have been nice, but it is what it is. I'm more of a Sephiroth fan, but it's this question because like, they actually went out of order with the DLCs, but hey, we're gonna get some more of those in a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, I got gifted an Amiibo, and honestly, that hasn't really happened too much in the past nine years. Yeah, Amiibo have been out for nine years. That seems kind of crazy to me as well. However, when it was time for my birthday, uh, my friends were absolutely amazing and gifted me this amazing Lucina Amiibo, which was still another firearm that I missed up until that point. And as I mentioned with Chrom, they did quite a bit of restocks for the Fire Emblem series this year that had to do, of course, with Fire Emblem Engage releasing in January, I believe, of that year. Yeah, it was January 18th or something, so somewhere around that time. It was mid-January, and uh, it had some amiibo functionality, and of course, they brought back a lot of the Fire Emblem amiibo. Really like Lucina, really like, uh, once again, the cape. That's something they do quite well with the Fire Emblem characters, as well as the Emblem on there, which uh, makes sense since it's a Fire Emblem. These two amiibo are, of course, from the Smash Brothers series, even though they are from Fire Emblem, so Smash fans get mad because we got another amiibo coming up next, and now it's my old main, uh, Ike. I really like this amiibo. I think the sword is a little weird. It's the most stable sword, yeah, because, of course, it's buried he right here into the base, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, I think Ike is pretty cool. I like that he has a red cape. Most of these have had uh, blue capes, but as you can see, it's nice to, like, cut off over here at the bottom. You got the nice little uh, symbol over there. Ike looks great, love his hair. Uh, this was with the great restock, as I mentioned already twice before, of the Fire Emblem series, or I guess Fire Emblem characters uh, from the Smash Brothers series, but also from the Fire Emblem series. And uh, this was my chance to fill out the rest. Current player number one is up next, which is another amiibo I bought in the same bulk as Ike. And I really like this one. I like the white, it's a very nice coloring. I really like the cave once again, really do enjoy those. I keep on mentioning it, but the symbol's awesome, the way it looks like it's kind of like in the wind, just like Chrom's is very nice. And for this one, I really like the Yato Blade as well. Now, I bought this one on the My Nintendo Store in a nice bulk with Ike, but Corn Player number two wasn't available on there, but that was the last amiibo that was required for my Fire Emblem collection to be completed, at least for the Smash Brothers series. But of course, this restock wasn't limited to the My Nintendo Store, as eventually I'd find that on Amazon, Corn Player number two, which used to be one of the rarest amiibos, was actually listed on there for pretty much normal pricing. I might have actually got paid like one or two euros more. And uh, it was my great friend uh, Clover's birthday as well at the time, so I bought two of them, one for myself and one for Clover. Uh, but here she is, Corn Player number two, previously one of the rarest amiibo out there. I think this pose is even better, like holding the sword behind you like that. I really like the pose in this one, and the cape uh, is even better on this one. Yeah, we're going to keep on mentioning all the capes, as you can see behind her quite a bit over there. And uh, yeah, the coloring, just like with Corn Player number one, is great. Of course, most people prefer Corn Player number two, aka the female Corn, uh, over the male Corn. And I think it's quite nice that we got a Corn Player number two, 
for characters like we fit trainer we never end up getting like a male one we never got the poopalinks for bowser jr for robin which is another farm character and by love we both didn't get a female version so it's quite neat to see that for core we got both male and female the farm characters weren't the only characters that got restocked in 2023 there were a bunch of restocks including one going alongside of the super mario movie that released this year and that series of course is the super mario series now this series is quite big a lot of them both came out later and, but not at the same time, but also a lot of them have like Smash versions. It's kind of weird, uh, but one of them I never ended up getting, not even in the Smash Brothers series, and that one is a Donkey Kong, which I also ended up getting gifted by a friend of mine. Very nice, very sweet. I really like Donkey Kong. I love his pose from the Mario series, but I still want to try and get the Smash one at some point, because just having all the Smash uh, amiibo would just be awesome. Uh, we talked a lot about his ass on stream, so uh, let me know in the comment section down below how many how many monkeys out of 10. For real though, really like this amiibo, love his posing actually, I love the Smash Bros one, but this one as well with like how he just holds up his fists. Uh, the tie is very nicely like done, it's like it doesn't need the most fine detail, but it just sticks out really nicely, which is something uh, it should for Donkey Kong, it's like it's main trait. And uh, overall, hey. The monkey is in the building. It's actually kind of crazy to me that I only got Donkey Kong at this point, as I actually already own King K. Rule, and I don't even own a version of Diddy Kong yet, so that's something I'm looking to improve for next year. As I previously talked about in 2023 in review, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is one of my favorite Switch games that released in 2023. Now, there, it was quite a way for getting this game, but it's pretty cool that we did end up getting ourselves an amiibo with it as well. Uh, kind of a simple one, we have a bunch of versions of Link already, but now we also have the Tears of the Kingdom version, which is actually even nicer to have this one as well, because that means that we got, I'm pretty sure, um, most versions of Link actually as an amiibo. Most of the ones we're missing are like from like the original Zelda and like things. Actually, we have the 8-bit one, so I'm trolling on that one. Uh, the Zelda 2 one and a few of like the Game Boy ones, but like most of them uh, also look like uh, most of the main game ones and the ones we have right now. Really like the posing of this one. Usually he posed with a sword or something, but now it's like with his hand, which is of course, uh, no spoilers here, but quite important to the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This one has a cape, so uh, I have to mention it of course again. But outside that, I think this is one of the coolest amiibo if you look back at like the original Link uh, from the Smash series and compare him to this one. You can just see the improvement of the amiibo and it's just so cool to see how high of a quality they've become Even though originally they weren't even looking that bad Speaking of that original amiibo series, we actually have the Kirby amiibo up next Which is one I still really wanted to get since I did own King DDD and Meta Knight But yeah, this one released originally back with Smash 4 in November of 2014 uh, It has quite a simple pose and yeah, there is another version from Planet Robot that uh yeah, some might say it looks better, but you know, I wanted to get the Smash Brothers version just because of the Smash Brothers one. And it was also priced off as the Kirby Amiibo regularly actually got restocked this year. That's been kind of a trend since Kirby in the Forgotten Land, which is nice to see as there are not a lot of those Amiibo. Uh, the only one really that's as exclusive to that series is the Waddle Dee one, which is also quite a cool one. But it's cool that you get to get these Amiibo quite easily and fill out that series quite easily compared to most other series, especially Smash Brothers. Speaking of the Smash Brothers series of Amiibo, we're going to take a look at two new ones that also released over that summer. First one off being Pyra. I really wanted these Xenoblade characters because I'm a huge Xenoblade fan, especially Xenoblade 2. I uh, quite enjoyed the Shulk amiibo, but um, I started out with Xenoblade 2. I'm more of a Xenoblade 2 guy and uh, yeah, honestly they look quite great. I love the red texturing here on Pyra. There, you got like her little thingies over here which are weird but fun. Uh, her sword is quite weak though, but uh, hey, Pyra, looking great as ever. And you can't have Pyra without Mithra, and I love Mithra. I love how she looks, I love her hair, I love the coloring and everything. Uh, I'm a huge Mithra fan, one of my favorite characters from Xenoblade 2. Love her in Smash as well, and uh, yeah, she's just really awesome. Really like her posing with the hand as well over here, she's trying to reach out. Uh, this was a weirder time in the year as the place where I used to actually buy my Amiibo at uh, wasn't open for two months and later actually got shot down. And uh, yeah, I had to get in her and Pyra in a different city. So I traveled out there with a friend of mine, had a nice day over there to get them. 
But uh, a bit of a weird one as I had to actually switch amiibo places. Amiibo hunting is one of my favorite things to do. That's why I originally got into it, not just for getting one, but afterwards seeing how fun it is to just go into a store, seeing which ones you can get and buy. It was just something unreal to me and it's still something I kind of miss because most stores near me don't really sell amiibo in stores anymore and I gotta order them nowadays, which is quite unfortunate and seeing this place go which was kind of like my final place where I could get amiibo instead of just you know ordering them online go yeah it kind of hurt the experience for me a little bit not to worry though as the amiibo I got next actually kind of gave that experience back to me in a way as this was an amiibo hunting experience mostly online but one that I did really have to work for as with the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom a lot of the Zelda series amiibo came back and, you know, they got pushed down with their prices, it, you know, they were quite a bit more accessible. And this specific amiibo is a character that I've made in Smash Brothers since 2020. And because of that, I really wanted an amiibo of him. But his prices, at least for this specific amiibo, went down and then it went back up again. It was kind of weird. But ladies and gentlemen, I finally do have Young Link, my favorite character in all of Smash, at least at this current point in time. We have an entire like meme section dedicated to him with the B button, with all of his arrows, with all of his uh, boomerangs, all the B button moves. But I love this posing so, so much. I think it's so cool. I think the one from Majora's Mask also looks great with the Majora's Mask that he has. I'm pretty sure he holds the Gora Mask. Uh, the sword is quite stable. Uh, he's not the biggest amiibo, of course, since he is Young Link, but his facial expression, everything about him. It's just perfect and I'm so, so happy I finally have this amiibo in my collection. In 2022, I went to the event known as Game Force, which was a fun gaming convention held here in the Netherlands. And I decided to go again this year with some of my friends, including Pablo Runs, the best Luigi's Mansion speedrunner, uh, which I'm very good friends with. And it was a very fun time there. Pablo and I went away from the group for a little while at the start of the day. Uh, to just look around with the two of us and we actually found ourselves some amiibo and actually priced very well and some rare ones at that and the first one we got was actually still boxed and that is hello yeah that is a uh, toad yeah but it's not an amiibo i actually wanted but this is quite a rare amiibo i remember this one being rare i don't know how rare he is nowadays but uh yeah it's toad another super mario series amiibo i got this year uh which i don't have a lot of actually because i uh, prefer the smash pose but of course toad in Smash Brothers, I love the way he waves high, just like, hello, welcome to Mario Party, you know? And he's just great, we got him boxed and everything, and uh, I was so, so hyped, I had, I got energy for the entire day pretty much because of that. But that wasn't the only thing we spotted, as we also spotted what was quite possibly in the past the rarest amiibo of all time. I don't know how rare it is anymore, same with Toad, but uh, there was no box, so let's just say that. But we actually got it for cheaper than Amiibo usually go for. Pretty sure it was something like 13 or 14 euros. But I ended up picking up a Wii Fit Trainer as well. Shout out to my good friend Cola Crash, who actually mains this character. Still such a random addition to the Smash Brothers cast. Uh, but a very nice pickup alongside a Toad. That's the main reason why I got so much energy that day. Uh, Toad and Wii Fit Trainer, just finding those in the wild. Uh, with me just expecting not to find any amiibos at this convention was a very very pleasant surprise Now going back to what we we're talking about before we talked about the restocks that happened this year and getting back to the Zelda ones uh, I actually didn't go to Portugal myself But some family members of mine did and they found uh, amiibo there And they just took pictures of it and sent it to me I'm like yo you're into this right and I was like yeah pretty much so they came back and gave me this Toon Link amiibo and uh, I, yeah, I really like Toon Link. As you might have seen in the 2021 version, I do already own Toon Link since, yeah, I had the Wind Waker version, which was probably the version I prefer with the little Wind Waker. But it's nice having two of them as Toon Link appears in a lot of Zelda games and kind of gives me the feeling then of that. It has one of the sturdiest swords there is. Really like a shield. That's something that uh, isn't really showing off that well with the Wind Waker version. But it's nice to have this one, as I said previously with Donkey Kong. I hope to get all the Smash Brothers versions for the Smash Brothers characters, if I can, of course. To wrap up the year, there was another set of amiibo I was actually paying a lot of attention to, besides Young Link. And it was another Zelda restock, actually. And it got restocked on the My Nintendo Store uh, twice, actually. Once it was a little too late for it, and the other time I actually ended up getting it. And that is the Champion 4-pack. And we're starting things out over here with Amifa and her really nice looking trident over here, as you can see. Of course, the Champion of the Zora. And uh, yeah, the Champions are not in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. 
but Breath of the Wild means a lot to me and I really like the champion characters from both Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity as well as, of course, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So getting these was a no brainer. Now with showing these off, I'm kind of just going in order of how I tackled the different areas in Breath of the Wild originally. So I started out with the Zoras and then made my way over towards the Gerudo with its leader, Urbosa. Looks very nice. I like how with her posing, she's supposed to look to the back and then look towards you like that, which is pretty neat. Really like her uh, weapon over here. Uh, it's again, not the sturdiest thing in the world. You got her nice shield, which you can actually get in Breath of the Wild as well. And you know, the Gurudo are quite nice actually. You know who's also quite nice? The leader of the Gorons, the Rook. Thick man himself, really like this guy. I don't know why I always call the Gorons the Thick Mans. Well, they're, they're, they're quite big, they're kind of like rocks and you know, they've got tiny feet. I don't know, I've always found that kind of funny. Probably one of the heaviest amiibo I have. Bowser and King Beauty are also quite heavy, but this guy, you know, he has the big hammer over here. Uh, he's got him himself. Really like his smile, definitely gives off a nice vibe thanks to it. And uh, really like the root. Probably my favorite one of the champions, actually. Or that could be Rivali, aka Falco, aka the leader of the Rito, of course, uh, located in the top left corner of the map in Breath of the Wild. These are, of course, the bird people that were originally, of course, from the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. This man is quite cocky in Breath of the Wild, but I really like him. I really like how they make use of his arrows, how they show that off quite nicely. That's something they did really well with the Tears of the Kingdom Link amiibo as well. And overall, these champions are so, so, so awesome. I love the Rook's vibe, but some of the other ones have really nice weapons as well. I can't choose a favorite. I, I love all these different races from the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I'm so happy I finally got them. So that's this year's update. I hope you guys enjoyed the updates to the collection this year. Of course, it was mostly getting stuff back from the backlog, but overall this was, in my opinion, a great year for amiibo hunting. I did already unbox a few Amiibo for the 2024 edition for next year, so definitely stay tuned for that. For now though, be sure to let me know which Amiibo were some of your favorite that you saw today. And of course, let me know what your favorite Amiibo were that you got this year. Thank you so much for tuning in to me rambling about my favorite plastic figures. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>